They closed the Wallace store in Cruiser Street on the 21st of September, locked the girls out of their jobs and they re want to realign the company, restructure everything. So they basically threw our jobs up in the air and asked us to fight for jobs that we already had. And I just feel like it's very wrong. You know, anybody out there that has can, can be in this situation tomorrow. This could be you standing here having to fight for your rights. Ah, <laughs> don't pass the picture, my Jays. Thank you, thank you. And they're reneging on a package that is in writing of five weeks. They're only offering the 2.75. And uh, so we stood back and we said, no, we're standing together and we just want what's fair. They've already given this redundancy package six months ago to other colleagues with less service than ourselves had. This is not a, a company that's in trouble. It's just a company that's taken advantage of the economic situation to close down one of its stores and get out of a lease and sublease it to another retailer on the high street. We're asking Sir Philip Green to put his hand into his pocket and to pay a decent redundancy package to these workers. Sir Philip is one of the richest men in the world. What we're asking is that he at least looks after his loyal workers who have worked for this company, some of them up to 28 years, and are being treated abominably. I work in Wallace on Grafton Street. Grafton Street is one of the busiest main streets in Ireland. You know, it's a very high-end street. We're out on strike at the moment to support our Limerick colleagues because they've lost their jobs and they haven't been given a fair package that was already in agreement with our Wallace company. We're also here because our jobs are under threat at the moment as well. So we're out for them but also for ourselves to try and get a fair deal. We're not asking for anything that's not fair or we're not asking for something that the company hasn't already agreed to.